Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and a visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Welcome to the Valder Beebe Show. I'm your host, Valder Beebe. Today, I'm going to be talking with Beth Bachman Dupree. Dr. Dupree is here to talk about breast cancer. Dr. Dupree, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me, Valder. Those facing metastatic breast cancer, first of all, tell us what metastatic breast cancer is. Metastatic breast cancer is breast cancer that has spread outside the breast and lymph nodes to external organs such as the liver, lungs, bone, or brain. And as I tell all my patients when they're diagnosed, no one ever dies of breast cancer in their breast. They die when breast cancer spreads elsewhere. And sometimes that's hard for people to wrap their heads around because there was a belief many, many years ago that removing the breast would save someone's life. But our whole philosophy on how we treat breast cancer has changed because it's those individual cells that leave the breast and take up root other places in the body that cause metastatic breast cancer. Tell me about this comprehensive lifestyle guide and vital information resource for women living with stage four breast cancer. So this October, uh, on October 13th, is actually Metastatic Breast Cancer Awareness Day. I'm very happy to share with you that Athenix Oncology, who partnered with Viver Health, came up with a comprehensive guide to facing, facing metastatic breast cancer, which is a guide not about how a woman or man with metastatic breast cancer treats their cancer, but how they can live their best, most empowered life to increase their resilience, learning about mindfulness, learning about lifestyle changes, learning about nutrition and the things that we can do to boost our immune system and be able to help the medications that patients are on to work best in their body and create their, their best opportunity for being healthy, whole, and complete. Because metastatic breast cancer is a chronic disease. And our goal with metastatic breast cancer is get to a place where a patient has no evidence of disease. And to do that, we oftentimes need targeted therapies and new drugs coming down the pipeline to be able to fight the cancer. By doing this show, I have gotten the, I call it the opportunity and the blessing to walk with many of my listeners who have walked through breast cancer. What type of treatments are available out there to inspire them? So the good thing is we have many scientists working every day to find specific, what we call targeted therapies or therapies that we can give patients to be personalized to their specific type of cancer, whether a tumor is estrogen, progesterone, receptor positive, HER2 positive, or what we call triple negative. These are all subtypes of cancer that everyone would require a specific treatment based on their type of cancer. And because cancers, cancers can be very stealthy and become resistant to one type of treatment, I tell my patients when they're diagnosed with metastatic breast cancer is that it's a chronic disease, we need to go from step A to step B to step C. And if a medication stops working, we then look to see what is the next drug in the pipeline that can help to provide the opportunity to either halt the cancer from growing further or to basically work to try to eradicate it. I wanna remind my audience, this is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, but when you have breast cancer, it's breast cancer awareness every day. Remember, get your mammograms. Dr. Dupree, I've had quite a few uh, medical experts come on and tell me because of the pandemic, people are not getting colonoscopies or they're not getting their mammograms as they should. What can you say to that? I can encourage every woman and man out there that needs screening for whatever type of cancer it is that we have now in our hospitals created an opportunity for safe and effective screening opportunities for mammograms, colonoscopies, for everything. And do not delay going to a doctor. If you feel a lump in your breast, do not delay going to a physician because those, if you have a cancer growing, by not going to the doctor doesn't make it not be there. It just makes you not know it's there. Ooh, great advice. Okay. Uh, everybody needs to up their health quota. I think they have a great time, Dr. Dupree, to work on it right now. What are some health tips that we all need to be practicing? Well, as I told the developers of the metastatic breast cancer guide, what they've done with this guide is basically give a roadmap to what I would say everybody, how we, how we live our lives, being mindful, getting better sleep, 
looking at nutrition, getting exercise, taking time to actually take a deep breath and come into the present moment. And, you know, we know that lifestyle is a huge factor in many cancers and in breast cancer, particularly, you know, avoiding obesity, dropping weight, increasing your exercise capacity, making certain that you're eating a nutritious diet that supports your body, staying away from highly processed foods, staying away from toxins like alcohol and tobacco. These are things that it's common sense, but I think what's going to happen after COVID and with this whole process, we're going to learn that the people that have been the healthiest throughout their lives are going to have had the less either severe form of getting COVID or um, surviving it. And I think that it's a wake up call for all of us to recognize, you know, one of the things I never hear in the media right now is that how obesity and chronic inflammation has impacted one's ability to survive COVID and decreasing inflammation is a huge piece of the survivorship process with breast cancer. Dr. Dupree is here to give us some advice. I suggest that we listen and listen well. Dr. Dupree online, is there a place for them to go? So everyone can go to a Phoenix, A-T-H-E-N-E-X, oncology.com, click on the patient resource tab, and a Phoenix Oncology will mail a free guide to anyone that goes online and asks for it. And I'm encouraging all of my colleagues in breast oncology and breast surgery to get these guides and keep them in their offices for their patients. And I think this is great advice. My, my friend, Lynn Dever, who's a pediatric um, internal, uh, a pediatric uh, specialist, read this guide and said, this is advice that parents need to give their kids from the time that they're born throughout their lives because it was so data-driven and it's right on, it's on point about what we need to do to live our best lives. I want to thank you, Dr. Dupree, for being so knowledgeable and for being so passionate. Thanks for being my guest thank on the Valder BB Show. It's been my pleasure. Thank you, Valder, for having me. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB Show broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands free, pocket free, purse free, even belt free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.